So this is peanut butter. And some people may say that I have an unhealthy infatuation with this nut, but for as long as I can remember, it has been a part and a daily staple in my life. It's the king of the nut butters, and whether you enjoy crunchy or creamy peanut butter, I personally have never had a peanut butter that I don't like. And it takes 540 peanuts to fill this 12 ounce jar of buttery peanut buttery goodness. And although its versatility is second to none, I know that I struggle with enjoying just a single serving. I love you, peanut butter. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. The intro to this video, I had to do it. It was my personal love letter to peanut butter. I mean, this stuff has been around and it's been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. Every kid's childhood is filled with peanut butter and jellies and snacking on this stuff. And honestly, I had to create this video because the number one fitness tip and trick that I tell to every single person involves this stuff. How important it is to properly understand portions and to know what you're putting in your body. So what I mean when I say actually knowing what you're putting in your mouth, we as people genuinely struggle with portion sizes. We think we're being healthy. We think just because we're eating salad or having chicken and rice, we think that that is a proper portion size and we have the ability to just eye and guess what a proper portion size is and what that caloric intake is, allowing us to be in a caloric deficit, which you have to be in order to lose weight. Most times people are wrong. People do not have the ability to proper portion control, proper portion size, and they don't know what they're putting in their body every single day. If you're not in a caloric deficit, you're not going to lose weight. If you want to lose weight, you have to be tracking those calories, knowing what you're putting in your body and ensuring that you're burning more calories every single day than you're consuming so you can burn that body fat and lose that weight. Every time I have this conversation with somebody, I always come back to the same example. And that example is the peanut butter example. So what I do with this peanut butter, it's very simple. Before the person is about to use the peanut butter, I weigh the entire jar of peanut butter, ensuring that I have the total weight of the peanut butter. I write that down. I ask the person to make a peanut butter sandwich or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or take however much peanut butter that they had planned on snacking with their apples or whatever they're using it for out of this container. Then once they're done making their sandwich or setting up their snack, I weigh the can of peanut butter and let them know how many grams of peanut butter they consumed and how many servings it was and the answer is guys it's never one it could be two two and a half sometimes four i've seen four different servings of peanut butter so when you're eating this and you actually think it's 190 calories of peanut butter it could be three times that on your sandwich and if you do not know what you're putting in your body there's absolutely no way that you're going to be burning those calories putting yourself in a deficit or losing the weight that you're trying to lose so that's the key here you have to physically know what you're putting in your body and it doesn't just go with peanut butter. It's every single meal, every single day. It could be a bowl of cereal. It could be milk. It could be ranch dressing, two tablespoons that you think that you're putting on your salad and it actually is six. Those calories matter. And those are the things that are adding up every single day. And you're asking yourself at the end of the week, why you're not in a caloric deficit and losing that weight. Start using one of these if you're serious. If you're serious about losing weight and you want to know what you're putting in your body, you have to be tracking every single day the portions you're putting in your body. Using a weight scale like this, if you do this for one month, it will change how you look at food forever. If you track every single thing that you're eating, your portion control in your brain, your brain will start to remap and revisit what a proper portion is. What you thought a proper portion was will start to change and adapt over time and it becomes second nature. That's the number one fitness tip and trick that people are not telling you. That is the number one thing that you need to be implementing into your life starting today, right here, right now, knowing proper portion control sizing so that you can be in a caloric deficit so you can lose the weight that you're aiming to lose and reach the goals that you have set for yourself. I have a ton of different videos on this channel further explaining things like BMR, your basal metabolic rate, how to track calories, different calorie tracking apps. So make sure you check those out. You can also find out more information on things that I use specific weight loss tools such as intermittent fasting so make sure you click right up here you'll see a link to a playlist that has a ton of different video content for you to consume I absolutely love fitness I love this stuff so if you have any questions drop them down in a comment below and I'm going to keep this one short thanks for tuning in thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon